Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Modern Warfare 3. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we'll go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people <laughs> are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that. And you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software. And also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's, it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, Modern Warfare 3 parameter, we're going to start by display. So super important in display mode, make sure that you're playing full screen. All the other modes, sometimes they, they're creating some input lags or stuttering. So don't use that. Make sure that you have the proper monitor display adapter. Make sure that you have your GPU. Sometimes people are playing on a laptop and you have an integrated GPU and a dedicated GPU. Make sure that you have the dedicated one. Make sure that your refresh rate match your monitor. I know a lot of people uh, they're playing at 60 and they have like a 144 monitor and they don't know. So <laughs> make sure that you have that. Make sure that you have your native resolution. I don't recommend to lower your resolution over there. The game will look too blurry, so super important. If you have a 1080p monitor, play 1080p. If you have a 4K monitor, go 4K. Uh, I disable my VSync. I don't want to add any input lag when I'm playing a game. And also, I put my FPS at unlimited, again, to have less input lag. So uh, this is my recommendation. But if you have issue with uh, your thermals, don't go too crazy with your frame re rate limit. Just limit your FPS with the amount of Hertz and uh, you will not cause stuttering because of that. Uh, and also, I know some people like to play with free sync or G-Sync. Make sure that you're staying in your range so you can limit your FPS for that if you want to do that. After that, uh, NVIDIA Reflect Low Latency. For sure, you activate that if you have uh, this uh, parameter on your card. And uh, I disable HDR because I don't want any <laughs> HDR when I'm playing the game. After that... For the upscaling and sharpening, you have three options, honestly. The first one is, if you want FPS, go with NVIDIA DLSS. So this it's a good option. I don't recommend to go with balance performance or ultra performance. Uh, this looks too blurry, so I recommend to go with quality mode. And pretty much the same thing, if you have an, uh, an Radiant card from AMD, go with FSR 2.1 and go with quality. You can expect 10 to 14% boost in your FPS if you're using that. But the best mode for the best visibility and to be a triad, it's Fidelity FX CAS. Uh, so the only thing, you will need to adapt your uh, CAS strength. So if you go very high, you will see that your game looks very, very sharp. So uh, it's a question of preference. I like to play at 60, so just do your testing, but it, it will not affect your FPS. After that, if you're using the Fidelity, you will have to change your anti-aliasing. Uh, they fixed the bug that they, they had the, in uh, all those other Call of Duty with the SMA T, uh, T2X. So I recommend to use that. And I recommend also to go with normal. Low is very bad. Uh, I don't like the image quality. And high and ultra quality, I feel like the game is too blurry. So normal is the best combination. So combinate Fidelity, SMA, and the normal over there. After that, the VRAM scale target, I recommend to go with 90. So it's to put uh, a, a max on your VRAM usage. So don't ma make sure that you don't uh, go to your maximum. Uh, you need to let Windows run in another 10% You're not causing stuttering. I don't know, sometimes people are playing and they're watching a stream in the second monitor or something like that. So make sure that you uh, let Windows with 10% over there. Don't use variable rate shading. Very important, put this one at off. It will affect visibility. 
After that, texture resolution. Texture filter and isotropic go with the maximum if you have the space on your VRAM. If you have the space, just go with that. Depth of field, you don't want to use that for a visibility issue. Detail quality level, I recommend to go with low. This one will provide you 5% boost. Particle resolution, go with very low. This one can tank your FPS if you go at IR normal. So I really recommend to go with very low. Bullet impact, I recommend to activate it. You want to see where you're shooting. So super important to go with on. Persistent effect, go with off. Shutter quality, again, if you have like a decent computer, you can probably run high. Uh, but if you have like, if you want another 3 to 4% boost in your FPS, go with medium and it will not affect your performance with the visibility uh, but the game looks better with eye for sure on demand texture streaming you don't want to use that this one i don't understand why they're putting over there so high quality texture are download from the internet when you're playing the game don't do that just go with off local texture streaming quality make sure that you're running normal after that, this is the place that you will uh, get a lot of FPS. So shadow quality, if you compare ultra to low, very low, sorry, you can expect a nice 20% boost, so go with very low. Screen space shadow, go with off, another 6%. Ambient occlusion, go with off, you're going to gain another 8%. Screen space reflection off, you're going to get 6%. And static reflection quality at low, you can expect a nice 4% boost. So honestly, just lower everything over there and it will be better for your visibility. After that, environment, you can play at near, not a huge deal for your FPS, except if you have like a very old AMD car, I don't know, like a 5870. I'm not even sure if you can play the game with that, but uh, they, they were struggling with the Slation back in the days, but you can run near easily. Terran memory, go with max. Uh, it will just affect your VRAM. And honestly, you want visibility. So you want to be texture. When you see texture, you want to be the highest possible because you want to see your enemy. You don't want to see blurry stuff. So go with max. Volumetric quality, go with low. A nice 8% boost over here. Defer physicality off, weather grid off, and water quality at default. The last one is view. So field of view, really important. I, I know a lot of people don't understand that, but if you go with an eye FOV, you're going to lose FPS. So make sure that if you want to play 120, you have a stable FPS and you like the amount of FPS. If you're playing on the low end machine, maybe you should start at 90. Look at your FPS. If you're fine with it, go at 100 and go a little bit higher after that. But it will affect your FPS. After that, we weapon fill of view, uh, it's question of reference. I play at uh, default, but uh, view kill fill of view, I like to play at wide. And for visibility in the camera world, motion blur, make sure that you're running off. Weapon motion blur, make sure that you're running off. And the last one, if film grain, go with zero again for better visibility. So this is pretty much it for my Modern Warfare 3 guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.